Oh yeah, Armstrong XPS cross panel sail design. So this is edit two of three and we separate it into on water review, design specs, and then we're gonna do one on construction as well. So this one's on the design specs because there's so much going on in this new wing that we wanted to kind of give it its fair shake and go over the entire thing. So cross panel sail design, we'll go over that first, even though everyone wants to know about the handles. What kind of handles do you have? Everyone's freaking out about handles. But we're gonna go over cross panel sail design because this is really quite a revolutionary design feature in a wing, but it's actually really tried and true and tested in the sailing world. So you can see here in the, the bottom part here, you have these, what they are calling the cross panel sail design. Looks really similar to what you have down here in the clue of a sail, where the, all of these different seams, there's so many more seams in this wing, all these seams distribute the load and keep the wing from bagging out. So the biggest issue with wings is that they lose their power, lose their feel, they get really floppy really quickly after, you're, after you start riding it. 10, 12 sessions in, they're starting to lose power significantly. This wing has been tested like insane amounts. Uh, they had like 100 different tests, design samples, you know, some on 60 on design, 40 on materials, and just had a absolute plethora of different wings with their tests. And they found with this cross panel sail design, what it's doing is it's distributing the load so that it holds up and it keeps it from bagging out. It also locks in the draft. You can see here, when you luff out this wing here, that this draft just stays in, in place beautifully. And then on the trailing edge here, it creates a little bit of luff, but it's not a lot of flutter. So that when you go into the wind, it just floats. This thing floats amazingly well. It's probably one of the best floating wings that I've ever used. And it doesn't have that crazy amount of dihedral. A lot of wings with a lot of, that float really well have a lot of dihedral, but then they swing and flip over. Particularly when you drop it on the water, they immediately twist and flip over. Whereas this one with a flatter profile actually doesn't twist over quite as bad. So luffing out the cross panel sail design, locking in that draft, and just longevity of the wing. Lots of seams means a lot more time and, and money in craftsmanship, a lot more panels means a lot more cash to make these things, but it also works and in, in, in it just makes, makes the wing work. So we're gonna go to the handles because everyone wants to know what's up with the handles. So hard handles are a trend that's here to stay. The problem with hard handles is that they're hard. They also most oftentimes have this big clunky plastic piece that you bonk yourself in the head, hit your leg, smash the board, seeing a lot of board damage. Um, the nice thing about hard handles is they give you a lot of response. The other downside of hard handles is a lot of times those round tubes, they hurt your hands. So skinny tubes, oval tubes, thicker round tubes, a lot of times they hurt their hands. So Armstrong went hybrid carbon handle. With this they have, it's kind of a flatter handle here so you can just kind of grip on your, your fingertips so it's really easy to hold while you're flying and riding. If you want a grip for jumping, it's soft on the edges, but you can see this hand does, handle does not flex. It doesn't move side to side, doesn't move up and down, so you get the full benefit of a hard handle but the comfort of a soft handle. So that's why they're calling the, the hybrid handle is because you, you have a soft grip, but it has the rigidity and feedback of that hard handle. Probably one of the features that I noticed most about this wing is the preloaded wing tips. So when you look at the wing tip of this, this wing, he started this with preloading the original A-Wing. Now with the XPS, they were, he was sailing with Peter Burling um, from the team, uh, team New Zealand's America's Cup team. He noticed that Peter's like, hey man, all this wing tip that's flexed out here, he's like, that's dead air, you're just not even using it. He's like, in sales, what you do is you preload it so it flexes into the right position. And it was just like an epiphany for these guys on design. So they preloaded this wing tip, kind of turned it down, flex it in so when it actually flexes under load, the whole canopy has perfect shape and you're using the entire canopy. So that really translates into great upwind ability, awesome hang time for, for jumping, excellent luff, and lots of just straight line speed. This thing just absolutely hammers. And with the cross panel design and locking that draft, that's where you're getting a ton, a ton of speed out of this thing. A couple other small features on this. They've got removable battens in here. What that does is when you take the battens out, it luffs out a little better because you take out that any, any weight, additional weight on the trailing edge, you will get a little bit of flutter when you're luffing out, a little more flutter than you're having the battens. What you lose is you lose that, you know, uh, full frame rigidity for, uh, you know, max upwind performance. So if someone's racing, they're gonna wanna have those battens in. They're really working on kind of flat water cruising. If someone's surfing, they wanna take those battens out. I really notice also on the bigger sizes, five, three, six, one, that those, when you take the battens out, gives you that little extra low end that you're looking for. Front handle, this is a, so, a traditional soft handle, but it doesn't move that much, right? So when you hold this thing and luff out, you have a lot of control to, to move it side to side, 
twist it with your hands so you get tons and tons of control. Also, they put this nice neoprene patch on here so you don't rub your knuckles up on the dac and thrash them. Also, little features like this, like what Armstrong's doing is really focusing on these like kind of meaningful tech features to make this a long lasting wing. So on the, the cover here, they attach the cover with Spectra, right? Spectra is just a super durable line. Then they attach the cap with a spe to, this, to this hat here and cover with another piece of Spectra. So if you break the cap, it's really easy to take off and just plop a new cap right on there. Oh yes, and windows. Have windows, not have windows. A lot of people are putting windows in as literally window dressing because they're there, but you can kind of see a glimpse of there, a glimpse of here. Armstrong put a full window where you can see the strut's not too big, so you can see over the strut and see through the entire, uh, entire window, upwind or downwind. So when I'm riding, I can see upwind or downwind across the full spectrum while I'm riding, which is really nice. This is the first window that had tons of visibility, but it also doesn't make the, the canopy feel bagged out or funky or, or anything like that. The Armstrong XPS was designed to be the wing for everyone for everyday conditions. We've really been impressed with how well this wing is riding. You get lots of power, lots of control, huge top end wind range. It's not gonna qu have quite the low end power of the original Armstrong A-Wing, but what you get in usability and overall performance, it's just really mind blowing. If you have more questions, give us a call at the shop, 252-987-6000. Reach out online, realwatersports.com. We'll see you guys on the water for the next session.